guys, crew blown way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. I'm Shane. Eric. And we are back with Doctor Who. We are. Last time huh. on Doctor Who, we had the eleventh hour. Yep, we had the new Doctor, and I was I was skeptical going in, but I opened. And I, I was like, okay, maybe. Gotcha. So I was, I'm not like super on board. It's not my favorite <coughs> Doctor or anything. But that last scene with him coming through the hologram and like you know, at least not yet. He yeah. was yeah. likable, and it helped that they disconnected from the old stories. Is yeah, the, like, uh, this is like a thing. soft reboot. Like this is not like he's in the place of, of uh, whatever his name is, David. David Tennant, like in the same storyline as him. He's a different Doctor, different characters, different everything. So that's what helps a lot too. Okay, and then we also got to meet Amelia, Amelia Pond. Amelia Pond, yeah. and her soon-to-be husband ah! Rory. Right? She's in her Not suit. Billy. Oh, nice. kiss a suit. Yeah. We got sent this a while back. There's posted spoilers, so I brought it out now that we've met the character. Yay! I mean, so. is that a spoiler? Oh. We didn't meet her like, yet. If I saw that as a Doctor Who box, I'd be like, I don't know who that is. You didn't meet her yet, so, yes. So. And also, if you'd have yeah. seen... <gasps> Red! If you'd would, have seen would you this, be spoiled, though? Also, well, yeah, if you'd have seen this, and it was like, oh, Amelia Pond, okay, cool. And then you saw that, and you're like, oh, that's Amelia Pond! Yeah. You would know immediately. Whereas yeah. before, you were kind of like... I would know what? Huh? I would just make that myself that forget. Familiar? Yeah, because yeah. You had I knew a, it was that little girl. Because <laughs> little girl. <laughs> he called it right. <laughs> I knew that immediately. <laughs> God damn it! Jesus. You guys want me to sneeze? This is what happens. But you wouldn't have known. You would have been I, assuming, in which case you assumed right. This I way, assumed you correct. Know. I assumed so hard, I might as well have known. You, you assumed. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you think assumed. But yes, as Eric was saying, she left and had a wedding dress sitting. In her bedroom. Like, yeah, what that's doing? creepy. Don't do that. He's so big, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shane said like, that, that was, like was uh, Jeff. Jeff? And I said it was Rory. Rory. Jeff. Yeah. So the, Rory, the question, I hate every Rory I've ever met. The question that we had Every was, one. <laughs> the question was, who is she supposed to be marrying? Is it one of those two, or is yep. it someone we don't know? Or is it somebody that we know? Did we slap at that? No. Yes. No. Did we? We didn't. So Aaron, Aaron wants to slap somebody. <laughs> well, Aaron can't be part of it. <laughs> because he knows. That's why he wants to slap that. Yeah. He just wants to see pain. I'll be on the side of... <laughs> <laughs> well, we did have a whole bunch of, like, you setting up stuff like the silence will fall mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> other stuff. Yeah. There's the crack. There was a crack, And yes. uh, who caused the crack? What caused the crack? I think she caused the crack. There's something about her. Maybe something to do with grief, losing your parents at an early age, childhood trauma. Yeah, maybe. something like that. Cocaine can be very traumatic. Hell of a drug. Yes. Before we watch the second episode, we gotta watch another little thing. And we're gonna watch it real quick. No! Oh. Crack cocaine. I'm not watching what are you doing to me? I'm not watching This is the first show. chapter, asshole. Hey, what was that shit? There's an additional scene that takes place in between episodes one and two. We're gonna watch the second episode. I love so, OBAs. hit the button again. You do it, Hit the button. Oh, damn. It's a British ship! Surrey, Kent. Like Essex. It looks like Manhattan. Yorkshire. You skipped Devon. Oh, it wasn't lit up then. It was lit up earlier. Good girl, Chloe. It's giving them positive reinforcement. Well done. Well done, Calvin. Participation trophies. <coughs> You've been a very bad, bad boy. Bad boy, Timmy. Timmy. Oh shit, look at his brain. Oh no. Zero. <laughs> I do not approve. Of this dark wizard hiding in Quirrell's hat, teaching these children. Shit! He's fine. He's not fine. He's not fine. Jeez! Okay. Well. That's terrible. Hard to get a third face. No, it's just unhappy or fucking pissed. I've met people like that. Who? <laughs> See, now we know why she's there. Oh. That's a nice looking scene. Name's Amy He's looking over his skirt. <laughs> what is she doing? What happened? I guess she fell back out. We are observers only. That's the one rule I've all stuck to in all my travels. I never get involved in the affairs of other people's or planets. He gets involved all the time. You find that hard being all like detached and cold. <laughs> <laughs> Wardrobe. Shouldn't you change? Sorry. Checking all the water in this area. There's an escaped fish. That's what? funny. What? 
sad because of her friend? Yeah. Huh. I uh, guess. Fuck, man. It's. It's just Elbra. No, it's not. Kind of look like a Doctor Strange guy. Did he do the thing? He said the thing about the thing. The water. Check Why is there the so water. much water on the ground the there? Hell? That was a Bioshock. Yeah, a little bit. What are you gonna do? What I always do: stay out of trouble. Yeah. I can't get over how damn goofy looking he is. How many turns around? I think he's freaky looking. Isn't it crazy when it's goofy stuff that's scary? No, I'm not. Like, man, I'm scary. With the doctor. Did you? Like the new actor. He's just goofy looking. I'm not trying to be mean. I just, I can't get over it. You sound Scottish. I am Scottish. What's wrong with that? <clears throat> Scotland's got to be here somewhere. No. They wanted their own ship. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's a giant hookah. That was a fondue fountain. <laughs> What do you think it was, Eric? The chocolate fountain at Golden Corral. You can't say fondue fountain as well. The fuck is that? It's weird. The beast below. Ah! Scorpion tail? It's a beast tail. Oh, oh fuck, shit. he's a fucking guy. Found it. Ah, oh, god damn it. No engine vibration on deck. Ship this size engine this big, you'd feel it. The water would move. Hmm. We're traveling among the stars in a spaceship that can never fly. How? I don't know. Creatures propelling it? The beast below. Help us, Doctor. You're our only hope. Ooh. Even has the hood up. How do I find you again? I'll find you. I will this ten, and I will find Damn you. Damn it, Shane. You see it before? Yeah. Yeah, he, he knows did. that was Liz Ten, didn't you? You got me. Uh, isn't that Benton's sister? Welcome to voting cubicle 330C. Please leave this out. Right. Your identity is being verified on our electoral roll. Yeah, that's not gonna work out. Name. Amelia. Oh, it did work out. Marital status. Huh? Unknown. Ah! Because it's in limbo right now. She hasn't made it back to get married yet. If just one percent of the population of this ship do likewise, the program will be discontinued with consequences for you all. Oh, that's not a choice. If you choose to accept the situation, and we hope that you will, then press the forget button. You will continue to enjoy the safety and amenities of Starship UK, unburdened by the knowledge of what has been done to save you. Hmm. It's a hell of a choice. Yeah. It's a hard choice. It's interesting, though. Like, they're not lying to people, they're just letting them forget. Mm hmm. What was it? Please get the doctor off this ship. Okay. Has she forgotten already? Yeah. She's forgotten everything. You look human. No. You look Time Lord. <laughs> we came first. Because <laughs> this is what. The headache, that's squealing. Protest. That's not good. Oh no, digestion juices. Is there a Dianaga in here? It's not a floor, it's a... Uh... It's a thing? So... It's a, it's a stomach. It's a... Tongue. Oh. oh. It's like a space whale from Torchwood? Be a jet button! Like a sneeze? Or no, like a, throwing gag, up. a gag, gag reflex. reflex. Close your mouth! Is that his Alonzi? Geromino? Ugh, where'd they go? That was the most throw up I've seen since Calvin. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Fucking shit. Hey, keep your ass, man. <gasps> oh, damn. Doctor. Old drinking buddy of Henry Twelve. Tea and scones with Liz Two. Pete was a bit on the fence about it, weren't you? Liz Two. Elizabeth the Tenth. And down! Like Queen Elizabeth? Our room. <laughs> Someone's helping it. Feeding it. Feeding my subjects to it! Subjects? Isn't that kid in the beginning? Yeah, was was he arm by that room? Giant you're a subject. Parasite thing? You're laying in the mouth. <laughs> That's uh, like an asteroid. That's worm. terrible. 
Oh! Those things are those things? You must go now, Mom. Where? The tower, Mom. Tower of London? I was saying ma'am, but it sounds like mom. Yeah, they the say. The tower, Mom. What's that, Mom? For some reason, it won't eat the children. Oh, I didn't eat the kids. You're the first adults it's spared. You're very lucky. Yay. What's that? Ugh, that's a brain. And this place down here is where you hurt it, where you torture it. Day after day, just to keep it moving. Hmm. It's always screaming. Yeah. Like the ood. At least 200 years old, I'd say. Yeah, it was antique, so. Yeah, an antique made by Cross and over 200 years ago. But perfectly fits your face. In the same 10 years, over and over again. Always leading you to a forget. Yeah. It's like Momino. So she can abdicate the throne. Creature you are looking at is called a star whale. Shit! If you wish our voyage to continue, then you must press the forget button. Jeez. You don't ever decide what I need to know. I don't even remember doing it. You did it, that's what counts. When I'm done here, you're going home. Oh, shit. <sighs> what? I let the Starwell continue in unendurable agony for hundreds more years. Two, I kill everyone on this ship. Three, I murder a beautiful, innocent creature as painlessly as I can. And then I, I find a new name because I won't be the doctor anymore. It's probably the best thing you can do, I guess. Yeah. Why doesn't it eat kids? What's going on? No shit. It was saving the kids. Yeah. Uh. Man, not even a are you sure window popped up. <laughs> nope. I hope she's right. What if you were really old? I'm really kind at the moment. Your whole race dead. No future. What couldn't you do then? Mm. And don't add shit for nothing. <laughs> big day tomorrow. Sorry, what? Well, it's always a big day tomorrow. We've got a time machine. I skipped the little one. <laughs> Hello. Who is it? Sorry, who? Churchill. Winston Churchill. <laughs> Potentially very dangerous. <gasps> what? what? Don't worry about a thing, Prime Minister. We're on our way. Fucking Daleks! Again! Can't fucking kill him. Aww. Still fucking eating. It's been eating people. They've been feeding it people though. They might not eat people if it wasn't feeding people. Though. Yeah. Shit! A crack. She made a crack. Wherever she goes, there's a crack. I knew it. Everywhere she goes, there's a crack behind her. That is the beast below. Wasn't bad. Um, I mean, it, it kind of reminded me of some of the old school Doctor, not old school, but some of the older Doctor Who episodes we've watched before. But I really like the tie-in to the the space whale being what the Doctor does for others. Yeah, yeah that was know? cool. That was cool. So that was that seemed different than the kind of like one-off human civilization. It, it had a connection that was meaningful towards our characters yeah. that we usually don't get. Yeah. yeah. I'm always cautious when I see a new Doctor, and I'm sometimes immediately annoyed by a new companion. <laughs> And I don't think like I was annoyed yeah. by her. And right much. now you have both right now. So yeah. it's, it's not like you have the doctor to fall back on yeah. because you don't like a companion sure. right away or vice versa. Yeah. yeah. Even when we got David Tennant, we still had, we had Rose. We had Rose. So like, okay, well here's the familiar face with a new one. Yeah, it's a complete soft reboot, pretty much. Like Amelia, um I don't know. She has the best first impression of the companion for me so far, I think. Yeah. I like her a lot in uh Martha in thought it was pretty Empire. good. Yeah. Martha with the uh the hospital and the Jadoon platoon. Yeah, um, and whenever I like prefer one to the other, I don't mean like I'm tearing down another. I just yeah. mean like she just has the best first. The couple, first episode you know, was so strong. The little, the little kid and everything. Yeah, yeah the, I mean. I know I saw something where uh, where the creator was saying it was one of the hardest scripts he ever had to write because it was introducing new characters. He was trying to keep it exciting yeah. and actiony, you know, stuff happening and whatnot, while also like here's the new stuff going on and you know yeah. what's happening. So yeah, and sometimes you can write really good action when you already have established characters. Sure. But you're like bringing in characters that you've never seen before yeah. and having to also write a really good story on top of it. I wonder if we'll actually go see that Churchill thing or if that's just kind of like a 
And now it's time to go off and have adventures. Yeah. And we're Adventure not time. See it. And then we come back and it's just something else. I'd like to see it. Like, the Daleks, like, each time we, they show back up, it's like, ah, fucking Daleks. But eventually the return on investment on that feeling will go away a bit, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. The Daleks. What was, what was your reaction when you saw the Daleks? I like, was like, ah. ah! But it wasn't as big as, like, the for, uh, Second the stolen Earth or whatever. Well, that yeah. That was a big one. I feel but, like that one was because it was, like, building up and building up. And then you get the reveal, but rather was, than just throwing it at you. It was also quick. bigger than the first episode, uh, Dalek with Eccleston, where you're like, I don't know what this thing is. True. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So like, True. There's, a, there's like a medium ground of like, yeah. seeing them be like, oh, fucking Daleks are scary. Everyone hates them, you know? Yeah. Like in Stolen Earth, you have Daleks exterminate, and you have uh, Jack being like, fuck, we're all yeah. dead, you know? <laughs> I mean, they're supposed to be done with and gone, but... I guess the idea is that these things travel through time too. Yeah, so, you so can they can be anywhere them. and still be at the beginning of their end. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's the thing we talk about with like the time war too. With them being involved in the time war, the time war wasn't like, well, here's the time war. Time, time war, war was throughout like, all time. Yeah. So technically, the time war never ends. But it should. But it's but it's always over. Yeah. It's always over, but it's never started. And it's never ended. Yeah, I don't know how it's supposed to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess all the things that were happening in the time war are done, so there's no more battles being taken taking place, right? Because those happen on a like a fifth dimensional time scale, I guess. But the effects are still there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what what were they saying about uh with David Tennant's, what was it, End of Time. Mm -hmm. In the End of Time thing, they talked yeah. about, like, a time lock and some different things and how they were stuck and they were trying to, like, get stuff through the time lock yeah. to come to. So while the time war is happening, there was some kind of time lock trapping them to where it's it's, it's going on, it's over, it's never started, all mm -hmm. that is true. But, also, but it's also, it also can't, locked. It can't permeate out into the rest yeah, of the universe because yeah. they got that lock thing on. Sure. So. It's, uh, they call it the moment, right? Of, like, a, a fail-safe, like, panic room yeah. for their entire planet. Uh, Liz 10, uh, that reveal of her being the queen, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Like that, that is pretty cool, yeah. I mean... And they related all the way back to a David Tennant episode that we had with... Mm -hmm. yeah. With the wolves, right? With, yeah, there was the werewolf episode. And, well, that's when she created Torchwood. She knighted him and exiled him and created Torchwood to all defend, the same. All him, same to defend yeah. against him. And, well, not necessarily the doctor, but to defend, defend against alien menaces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But then she wasn't too hot on him at the end there when she found out she was, or he was there, and mm -hmm. alien and all that stuff. There was a line I loved whenever the doctor, like, he was talking with Amy, then he stopped, went over, grabbed water, put it on the ground, picked it back up, put it back. She, he came back over, she goes, what are you doing? He's like, what? There's the water. He's like, I think a lot, hard to keep track. And then he just moved on. Yeah. <laughs> he also said fish escaped with other people. That was kind of funny, too. Yeah. I like the line where he said, big day tomorrow. Big day tomorrow. It's time machine. Let's give the little ones. Yeah, Let's give like the little that. days. Every day's a big day. I uh, just I, the, I think a lot. If, you know, hard to keep track. Reminds me of Shane whenever he says something. I'm like what? He's like what? I'm like we just said about something. He's like I can't remember. Yeah. It's like move on. Sure. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that a little bit. He's just like mm -hmm. I was just looking at my notes and I must have wrote these notes at the exact same time because I I wrote won't eat stamps and keeps me looking like kids. What? Because you had the line keeps me looking like the stamps. Yeah, and then won't and then eat kids. Won't eat kids. But I, I, when I wrote them, I must have just I was doing this. I was writing and not looking and stuff. I just something happened between Got here and here. I low level uh, dyslexia. It might be. I'm glad Timmy was okay. The children are okay. Little kid. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. that makes me feel a lot better about all those people getting eaten. Oh fucking there! Not me really. Like, that kid's children. eating you. I, yep. I said he got, dead. he got sent to the mouth. I believe is how I worded it. You said he went to the stomach. So that thing I like, will. I was eat like, yeah, people. he got sent to the mouth. I think or something like that. I didn't say the stomach. Yeah. We never saw the stomach. I'm, I'm, Just a, take. I'm a little confused uh, with the resolution here. So, I mean, the whale came mm -hmm. and it's like, hey, you guys need help? I'll help you. No. Well, the whale came because it hurt. And they didn't try it. to communicate with. They yeah. just trapped it and harnessed yeah. a city and shit sure. it, and then went about their business with it. Okay. So whenever they I mean, never, she's had the opportunity to. Stop this at any time. They just haven't because they think the whale will just leave. Will leave. Yeah, yeah. they think, it think that it'll destroy them by okay. letting them fall. They into saw a it as a coincidence that the whale showed up. So they trapped it and used it for what they needed, yeah. in which it saved the humanity of the UK. Yeah. And uh, Amelia, she saw knew through. the whale would not leave them. She related it to being the last of its kind, to the doctor being the sure. last of its kind, to but the But sometimes doctor. when you fuck with the doctor, he traps you in a dwarf star for eternity. 
Yeah, but he doesn't fuck yeah. with little kids that are crying. I guess. Yeah. He, he goes to them I and mean, tries he does. to help them. <laughs> he does fuck Which with is them, the same thing. Like, this whale's the last of its yeah. kind. It saw kids crying, and All it right. came to try to help. I'm just saying, like, you know, if that thing... You know, how long has it been since they've been from Earth? Uh, 300 years. Years and years and years? Yeah, a long time. I'm just saying, like... After years of constant torture, I might be like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> just hit, my, hit, hit him with the Yeah, I thought it was kind of a risk. But when you have nothing left to lose, like, yeah. it probably lives... You know, thousands and thousands of years. Mm -hmm. How terrible is it, though, that they do a voting process where they tell them that the one percent, if one percent disagree, then it it can ruin everybody's life. So the one percent that maybe protest just get eaten. <laughs> yeah, they just open a floor and kill them. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the worst thing is the human element in all of this. Is the and that the queen sanctioned it. choosing? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, she did it for the benefit of. Her people yeah. try to keep them surviving. Kind of like a, kind of like a Torchwood situation. Why? Why to, introduce yeah. the element of, of of choice? It, it's a bad choice. Yeah, I mean, well, they're, they're trying to be as good as possible, right? Yeah. I think it's worse. I'd rather force them to, to not now. I mean, eventually, give them a choice and kill the ones. You know what I mean? Eventually, That's, like everyone comes back around and wanting to know about it, but then it's such a terrible thing that they're doing. That they're like. I either need to forget or we need to let it go yeah. and just sacrifice all the people. Yeah. But most of them are like, well, we can't sacrifice all the people. Like, that's why we did this to begin with. Let's just, I just don't want to remember that I'm torturing this animal to it's keep like, our people yeah, alive. Everybody, it's a made, everybody, made, everybody made the same choice, and it's like one of those things where it's like, if you could not know about this, would you want to not know about it and actually live a life? Like, yeah, probably. Yeah. You know, so it gives everybody a chance, like, hey, when you need to, we need to figure out what's going on here. Go into the room. You see, you gotta make the choice again. All right, forget, and now you're gone. It's almost like a mercy for the people if, in fact, that thing isn't their savior. You know, it's kind of like uh, Gwen and Reese when she gave him the forget me not after she told him that she was cheating on him. Yeah, it's like she. What'd you call it? She forget me now. You call it the Arrested Development, but it's the, uh, yeah, it's the Recon. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I, I caught it too. I was like, that's so great. I loved it. I I'm glad. I'm glad. You screwed up. <laughs> Giving them that choice and then, like, making them forget that yeah. way. Like, Except, it's not the but, best thing in the world. But it's, it's, I get it. I'd rather give them no choice. It's horrible. But I mean, they do. They, they, they do give them no choice. They tell them you have to forget yeah. it. Well, that's or a choice. Gonna, you're going to be dead. You could choose but they just don't knowledge tell or death. Them, they just don't tell them that you're going to be dead. Yeah, yeah just, it's a shitty, it's even shittier choice. It's a shitty choice on that side of it, right? Whenever yeah. you see the whole picture thing, it's like, eh, I guess I gotta get it. Especially when you find out that the creature. I don't. Was it's a police state, to, man. Make everyone yeah. do it. When you find out that the creature was willing to help anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, they are anyway. Worse. I mean, just because they're given a choice there, you know, doesn't mean that they're forced yeah. to do. They're not other perfect. Things. I mean. Yeah. Those kids, are in, those kids are alive because, like, well, we really don't kill kids. Like, no, you tried to kill the kids. Yeah. And that thing the, won't. The people were trying to kill the kids, yeah. and the, the thing the creature would refused to. Yes. Yeah. You know, like, that boy fell in the mouth. So he got a zero got, on what? I don't know. His test, I don't know. He did poorly. Oh. The, low, yeah. the low performers get eaten. It's probably, like, a two, one, zero. Or the like idea, isn't there high a, performance. Isn't there a TV show or something where, or a movie? Where like the higher end, like the higher the higher like IQ people get to move on, it's like a, and, and the people who are, don't know or are too stupid have to get killed because they don't a YouTube have like movie. enough. It's a YouTube they don't movie. have like enough yeah. food or something like that mm -hmm. for like the population. Yeah, I always wanted to see that. But I just never did. Yeah, it's kind of like that. They're like, well, we gotta we gotta feed it. Well, it's the thing like we were saying with uh, Children of Earth thing, mm -hmm. where they were wanting ten percent. I was like, yeah. well. How do we do that? Do we make the, the less performing students and kids yeah, they, go? They try to do that. I don't know. It's just shitty either way. That you could be punished for not doing well in school by being murdered. Well, you should have done better. Is that what the test was? Was it academics or was it like a matter of like... Uh, loyalty. Loyalty. Or shit. Or, what no, did they say in the beginning? They don't I think get, it was just a performance. The kids aren't old enough to go to school. So it's a low performance in school that they did. Or to vote, you mean? Yeah, that's not old enough to vote. Not yeah. old enough to vote. So that was just performance of them. Well, I was wondering if it was like an aptitude test for like uh, someone that has more of a rebel spirit versus someone that kind of falls in line. Maybe it's like you have a zero for being a good team sport or something. Versus like just like a I oh, fucking you don't know math or any killer. I think they were just. I think it was just. I think it was just kids. Yeah. Because yeah. even still, no, if you're gonna go to the beast, they, they said you'll go to the beast below, and he's like, I don't get on elevator anyway. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Are yeah. you an idiot? Yeah. It's your own fault. I mean, he did. He, 
Given those but, choices, he made the choice so to he, die. So he went in the mouth, and he got into the spillway pipe that they would have been in and had to hit the forget button to get out. Yeah. Because he didn't remember who... Uh, Ma- Mandy? Is that her name? The little girl? Mindy? Mm-hmm. Something with an M. Mandy? Yeah, yeah, I think it was Mandy. Who that was. What would you guys think of the... Doctor had the line of, never decide what I need to know. I... I, I thought it was a pretty... I'm c- no BS, take charge. It kind of... I don't want to say out of character. I was kind of a little surprised when he said it like, like he did. I, I, I liked it. Liked it. I liked it because I, I, I am kind of of the same mind. Like, I don't want someone, like, choosing what I need to know in order to make the decision that they feel that I should make. You know what I mean? Like, give me all the information. That way I can make my own informed decision mm-hmm. rather than keeping something from me. And then they hope that I make the decision that they want me to make based on my limited information, you know? Yeah. But if you see enough shit and you're like, I, got it. I, can't, I can't know it all, and you hit the forget button. Well, that's somebody else making that decision <laughs> for me, though. Well, no, they make the decision to forget. Yeah. Right? But she was trying to get the doctor off. Yeah. That's why she, like, recorded that message. Mm-hmm. But then she didn't. But then she, she didn't yeah. know why she did. So yeah. okay, so her and all that stuff there, she just assumed what the doctor would do. It wasn't a matter of like knowing what the doctor was doing. No, I mean she was told everything, and then she was she was deciding that she didn't want to put the doctor in a position of like having okay. to choose the whale versus the humanity. As this was yeah. going through, I was thinking, wait, are we gonna get some kind of like time loop or something? Because we had that weird moment where in the very beginning, like he's standing there and he looks back, and she's like, oh, hanging off the side. And it didn't, like, really resolve or anything. Huh? She just floated back in space again. Yeah, it yeah. was just a weird moment for me. Okay. It just seems strange. Probably... So I kept thinking, like, maybe that's going to be, like, a like an ac- ac- access point back into some kind of causal loop or something. Uh-huh. Because then we have, like, a, a version of her giving a message to her. And I'm like, okay, maybe there's something there. And then if that fell through, like, you know, two minutes later, uh, as that being a viable theory... And I'm still left with that kind of weird moment of her just hanging off the side of the TARDIS. Oh, no. It's yeah. like she just stepped off of the mag plating. Sure. The magnetic plating on, on the TARDIS, and then she just kind of floated it up, and then she grabbed it. He's like, hey, doctor! You, when you tell a kid, like, hey, don't do that. Mm-hmm. And you caught him, like, and put it down, and you go, and you come back, and you're like, I told you don't do yeah. that! And yeah. And again anyway, she did. Like sticking okay. a pencil in it. It could be that fan. we were talking or something, I kind, of, I kind of miss a little bit of the tone Plus, of it. Because yeah. it just seemed like a strange thing that it's like he turned around and was like, What's going on? And then it cut. You know, it didn't, like, yeah. resolve or anything. But it could be that I just was missing some context clues. I think she's just very curious, and she... She's very curious. I mean, that little thing that we watched in the beginning of this is very... Yeah. Is very questioning. She needs to know everything. Yeah. I love when she's like, does that light bulb on top need changed? Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was a good, good thought. I never thought about that. I've thought about it before, but then I'm like, well... I mean, well, it gets gas. It's, it's a... It what? runs off of the vortex, right? Well, yeah, but, I mean, it has to refuel with energy, but not necessarily, like, fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. From the uh, rift, right? Yeah. Which is now closed. Where does it get fuel now? They did recharge over in there. The rift's closed? Yeah, they closed it. now. Isn't it closed? (laughs) Yeah. When did they close it? How did they close it at the end of something? I don't know. They they blew up the rift generator. Yeah, I I thought, like, that, whenever they did that explosion or something, I I thought the rift wasn't there now. Hmm. No. I think there was specifically a line saying it wasn't. Okay. And we were like, oh, okay. I can't remember. That's what I was asking you when. I don't know. Okay. I just you thought know, there was. In Torchwood, you mean? Or? Yeah, in Torchwood. It would have been during, uh, I suppose it would have been during Miracle Day. It had, it, not Miracle Day, I'm sorry. Uh, Children, Children of, Earth. of Earth. Yeah. Episode With one. Yanto and stuff. Anything else? Candy burgers. Damn it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see next week's episode already, make sure you check out Early Access available over at Patreon and also on the website. And uh, make sure you guys uh, subscribe so you don't miss me and Melanie also doing uh, New New Who. New New Who? Yeah, we have New New Who with uh, Peter Capaldi. So we're going through that and catching up and getting closer to the news.